here, and Gabby will be in the. She just got out of the water. But today we will be doing our first vlog. Where, where are we at today? We are at, at a Chapin Beach. Chapin Beach in Cape Cod. So this is. Let me just do a little panoramic view. This is the beach. There are a lot of people. See, the water is really nice. It's really clear. You can see. You can see way out, way down. So, watch, go under just really quick. Hold on. So, we'll put our goggles on and she'll show you how clear the water is. We've seen, there's quite, we've seen hermit crabs, right? Yep. A lot of them. We've seen, today. we've seen some fish. Some fish. Ready? Alright, hold on. Let me put mine on so I can see. Alright, one, two, three. Okay. Clear. The water temperature is pretty good. It's probably 80 between, I'd say it's probably between 76 and 80. Because it's cold when you first get in, but it's, I mean, you get okay, used to it pretty quick. Where are they at? Yeah, there's tons and tons of hermit crabs here. Big ones, little ones. We found out, yeah. we found out a meeting they were having earlier. Over the sea? Oh. So I'll try to find them. Yeah, we'll see if we can find it. Okay. They actually, this is a beach, but it's, uh, I found it. you found it, it's actually a right memorial park, and what they do is they rake this beach for seaweed Ready and things. Go under? Ready? hermit crab colony that we found today and they uh but getting back but they uh they rake this beach for seaweed the only kind of bummer is that you have to kind of walk quite a ways and have kids and all their junk and coolers and whatnot it's a little it's a little strenuous but it's it's definitely worth it this is by far and there are a lot of we've been here since saturday we got here saturday and uh this is by far the nicest beach that we went to we did another beach here which is actually just beyond that horizon there. Uh, it's a just a little further, here. and uh, which is Howes Beach. And there's another beach there called uh, Mayflower Beach, which is at Mayflower is right next to this, and then Howes is just a bit beyond that. And uh, Mayflower is a state beach. We're going to give that beach a try tomorrow. We've been going there, but we have a lot. Our house. Lot's always full. Yeah, yeah, the parking lot. The thing is, is that with these beaches, these beaches are actually in um, a little town or county called Dennis in Cape Cod. And they they definitely, I mean, their beaches are killer. House Beach is really nice. The water is pretty clear there, like this. Um, the only kicker about that yeah. beach was that we had to walk over some rocks, right, Tor? Oh, yes. There were rocks when you when you first get in the water. There's it's there weren't many shells, but there were quite a few rocks. And uh, quite a few. Yeah, there it was twenty of them. Yeah, it was more like a it was like a stripping of rocks. But the easiest way was definitely when we salt water yeah, when we started to swim over it. Yeah, it was it was a little better. It was a little better. Heather, what? Hi, hi. All right. So why don't you go a little bit out and show them how. This is, this is actually, I think, a sandbar. Why don't you swim a little bit out and not far, but just show yeah. them how you can touch just a little bit, maybe like five feet or so. This is actually a sandbar. For anyone who's not familiar, a sandbar is... Come here, look at the house cabin. You can actually walk out on the, in the ocean, and it's, typically the water is not going to get any more than... I was surfing with these, uh, 9 to 10 feet deep on a sandbar, but you know, it can get a little deeper. But this sandbar goes out quite a ways. If you can see, people in the distance, they're growing adults and they're, you know, they're probably average height and they're not even up to their neck. So, 
listen to it, why don't we go over the way show them in you. That's the beginning of the sandbar. Right there. We're at the very beginning. Yep. And it goes all the way out. What if we see a trout? Trouts usually aren't in salt water bay. Uh, usually. And the water is really, really calm. There are no waves. It's very, I mean, people, I mean, you see them with boogie boards, but it's more like a float. More like a float. I have and they go back to their thing. Yeah. So I can get Drake. Yeah. But they definitely, uh, actually, we, we went to a beach in Harwich. We went to uh, Howes Beach yesterday. We went to Chatham Beach today. And every single beach. Um, this beach does not have lifeguards. That's the only thing. And, uh, but all the other the beaches allow, like, floats. Which, like, we're from, you know, where we live, they don't. But where we live, the surf is, is definitely heavier. We had, since we left off, we had, had to keep changing our spots. And we had to keep on locking that heavy cooler everywhere. Alright, so let us show you. This is where the beach begins, right here. And do a little close up. Where the heck's the lifeguard chair? The beach. You come on to the beach right over there. That's where you come on to the beach. You come up on the big hill. And before, when you last saw us, all this area right here was all sand. And now, as you can see, it's all water because the tides come in. The the water in most places is pretty shallow. Um, it doesn't. I'd say it doesn't go above five feet. There's lots of hermit crabs that have moved in. And we've caught uh, fish. hermit crabs in our bucket and fish. Yeah, it is still. I mean, it's a, it's a super beautiful beach. It's very large. Um, there's actually some seagrass. Here, that was one very exposed that's now pretty much covered with water. So we got to the beach today. We got here about a little before 10 o'clock, and it's about one o'clock, and it looks like this. The tide started to move in about an hour after we got here, um, and then we moved once. It was okay for about another hour, and then, and then everybody started to move again. And when it came, it when it moved in, it was really, really fast, and it formed tidal pools like the uh, kids swam in before, which are really neat. Um, but it made it really hard to uh, to kind of get from one place to another. So that was definitely a challenge. That's a challenge that we've never uh, we've never had before. So, and Gabby's but, up there again. Yeah, and Gabby's up in the sand. Gabby's a pretty good swimmer, but she doesn't, uh... Oh no, she's with my honey. She doesn't, uh, last as long in the, in the ocean as she does in the pool. She'll stay in the pool all day. But she likes the ocean where it's shallow. She can swim again pretty well, but she gets tired really fast in the ocean. Again, not too, uh... The water still is very calm, though. There are no waves. Um, some small sailboats, rowboats, people on the water with floats. Um, the beach is definitely, it seems a little more crowded, but it may actually not be more crowded. It just, I think before, it was because so many people were just spread out amongst, it was so large. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure what time the water is scheduled to move back out, but once it moved in, it's... It's really not going anyplace else. But the crummy part of it is, probably the most crummy part, is that before it was very smooth, there were no rocks, where on this part of the beach, there actually is a substantial part of rock. I mean, there, there's definitely a big rock population as you go in, which are covered with Are they barnacles. Go back to the sand? So, yeah, we can take them with us and we'll go back to the sand and see what's going on going on with you. I'll try to show you some of the rocks. 
It's not like random either, they're just literally all over the place. Which we didn't pay much attention to before because we didn't envision the water moving in that much. So let me just kind of stick the camera underneath. Remember, we gotta look for the spots that don't have tons of rocks, okay? Just to make it a little easier on your feet. And this is the spots with all the rocks. We just try to find the holes. We usually try to swim over most of them. We thought we had kind of averted this issue like we had yesterday, unfortunately not so much. But again, this is this is Chapin Beach. Chapin Beach. In uh, in Cape Cod. And it's absolutely gorgeous. They do have a lifeguard. They do have a lifeguard. It seems like they after a certain time, I think after the tide moves in, they have a lifeguard come in, which would make sense. Because when we were all the way out there, it wouldn't have made a lot of sense to have a lifeguard over there. So, there's Gab. There's Gab. We have some of our friends seagulls here today. So what are you doing, Gab? Oh god. So the water is is moving in thus far again. Which is kind of surprising. This is this is the fish. Kind of by accident. We have a fish and a hermit crab. So the water just keeps moving in on us. So I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. And that's that's what happened was last time. The water just all of a sudden it was like forget it. It was so. No, I mean we could only move a little bit back and. The water wasn't this far up before, and it does have a little more of a wave to it. Although yesterday around this time it started to move out. Yeah. You would think it would kind of keep the water from moving out. The sand's much drier up here too. Like it before, the sand had a yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, it was great. It was great sandcastle sand when we were out there. It had a wonderful consistency, but yeah, yeah. No, I guess not. I guess not. All right. See you in a bit. The aftermath of the beach. Yeah. I believe so. There is a little bit of... There are a few things in the room. I'll grab them. Because it's a vlog. You have to have a vlog of the day. So what are you doing right now? You're just hanging out, right? Because you're pretty tired after the beach. And you're going to eat dinner a little bit. And then we're going to head on out. Probably hamburgers and hot dogs again. We have Sagey May with us. Let's do French Master vlogs. Where's Sagey May? Hey Sagey May. Can I hold it? She's eating. Hold on. She's eating. She's eating. She's saying hello to everybody. Can I hold it? I can hold it. I can do it. You talk. You talk. Alright, so you're just gonna hang out and 
play some Mario in a little bit? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna we'll we'll vlog some uh, some Super Mario in a little bit. Yep. All right. Let's see what else.